Okay, so we, today we're going to do quadratic inequalities. Now, a lot of people are confused about this particular topic. I think it's a very simple question, but there's a particular method you need to follow. Now, the way I would do it is by sketching a graph. So let's say we have a quadratic inequality. So let's say we have x squared minus 3x minus 4 is less than 0. Okay, so if they ask you to solve that quadratic inequality, so what I do first of all, let me sketch this graph x squared minus 3x minus 4. So if you just write let y equals to x squared minus 3x minus 4, so you might wonder where's the y come from all of a sudden. I'm just bringing that y in, I'm going to let y equals to this equation. So let me just sketch this graph. So now, remember in the last video, I explained how to sketch a quadratic graph, so we're going to use that here now. So when x equals to 0, so it's going to be y equals to minus 4, so 0 minus 4, because it's 0, 0 minus 4 is minus 4, and when y equals to 0, you're going to get x squared minus 3x minus 4 equal to 0, or that x quadratic is equal to 0. So basically you can factorize this, so this will be x minus 4 x plus 1 equal to 0. So x minus 4 equal to 0 or x plus 1 equal to 0. So that gives you x equals to 4 or x equals to minus 1. So that gives you the two coordinates 4, 0 and minus 1, 0. Okay? So now let's sketch our graph. So y axis, x axis, so it's got two x points, so minus 1, 0 is one, 4, 0 is the other, just mark them, and the x uh, y intercept is 0, minus 4. So there you go. So this graph goes like that. Now watch carefully where it turns, okay, it's not very important, but it's turning on the right hand side because there's four units here. Now they want to know when this graph is less than 0. It's less than 0 in this section here. So it's this bit here. So if I just shade it in with parallel lines, just use nice parallel lines so it looks clear. Now, all the x values in between that point and that point have a negative graph. So the answer, or the solution would be, so x has to be less than 4, but has to be greater than minus 1. And that's my answer to the quadratic inequality. Now remember, if the x is greater than 4, the graph is up here, so it's going to be positive. If x is less than minus 1, the graph is up here, is negative, uh, it's positive again. But what we want is a negative section of the graph, so it's going to be this bit here. Okay? So now let's do one more example. So if you want to copy this down, you can pause the video and copy it. Okay, so let's do one more. Now, as you see, when they give you a quadratic inequality, your goal is not just to solve a quadratic inequality. Your goal is to show the examiner that you are capable of solving a quadratic equation, you are capable of sketching a quadratic graph, and you are capable of simplifying algebra. So you're showing all these skills to the examiner. So if you just do this quadratic inequality using algebra, you won't be given full credit. You need to show it on a diagram. Okay, so let's do one more. So let's say we have x squared plus 5x plus 6 is greater than 0 this time. So you start off with the same thing. So you let y equals to x squared plus 5x plus 6. So when x equal to 0, y is equal to 6, so that gives you 0, 6. And when y is equal to 0, x squared plus 5x plus 6 equal to 0. Now if you factorize it, you can see it will be x plus 2, x plus 3 equal to 0. So x plus 2 equal to 0, or x plus 3 equal to 0. So x equals to minus 2 or x equals to minus 3. So it gives you the coordinate minus 2, 0 and minus 3, 0. We have our three coordinates, 1, 2 and 3. So let's do the graph. So just a small sketch will do on the side. So minus 2, 0 is here. Let's say minus 3, 0 is somewhere here. 
and you have 0, 06, let's say somewhere here. Okay, so this is the y axis. So you can see this graph goes like that. Okay? Now they want to know when this is greater than 0, so it's greater than 0 up here and up here. So that means it's this section and this section. So x values needs to be greater than minus 2 but less than minus 3. So x has to be greater than minus 2 but less than minus 3. And that's your solution. And that's how you solve a quadratic inequality. Now there are lots of marks available for this sketch. So you might think it's pointless. It's not. Because if you look at it, one of the signs so x is greater than something and less than something. So it's very difficult to figure that out just using algebra. So it's very important. This is a very important topic. I think this topic kind of makes you an A-level mathematician. Okay, because in GCSE we don't do this kind of working out. And that's the biggest difference between GCSE and A-level. So if you use this kind of working out, look, look how many things we're doing. We're doing inequalities, we're doing sketching graphs, we're doing factorizing, we're doing algebra, we're doing quadratic equations, we're doing sketching graphs, shading regions, writing an inequality. So we're doing a lot of things in one go. And this is what A-level maths is going to be at the end of the course. You're going to have trigonometry, coordinate geometry, algebra, equations, inequalities, calculus, all in one question. You know, that that's the level we need to get to. So hopefully this video has helped you with your quadratic inequalities. Now, obviously, they might ask you to draw a number line as well. So I'll kind of cover that since I finished the video quite quickly here. So you can have a linear inequality. And they might ask you to put it on a number line. I mean, these are really GCSP uh, topics, but I'll just go over it just to clear up things. So let's say we have one inequality where it says 3x minus 1 is greater than 0. And the other one, okay, so let's say 3x minus 1 is less than 0, okay. And let's say we have 2x plus 7 is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so from this inequality, you're going to get 3x less than 0, or sorry, less than 1, so x less than 1 third. And here, you're going to get 2x greater than or equal to minus 7, so x greater than or equal to minus 7. So what I'll do now, I'll just do a number line. Okay, just mark the 0 here. You don't need to do every single point on it, just mark the 0. So the first inequality says x is less than 1 over, through, 1 over 3. So let's say 1 over 3 is somewhere here. So it's less than, so you do just a normal circle. So if it's less than, it's this bit here. Okay? Now this says uh, x is greater than or equal to 7 minus 7 over 2. So minus 7 over 2 will be somewhere here, let's say. So it's greater than or equal to. So you shade the circle because it's greater than or equal to. And then it's this bit here. Now if they want you to work out the common region for both inequalities then you can clearly see it's going to be this section here okay so that section there is x less than 1 over 3 but it has to be greater than or equal to minus 7 over 2 and that is the common inequality for both inequalities so let me just go through that again. So the first inequality says 3x minus 1 less than 0. So that would give you 3x less than 1, x less than 1 over 3. Here we have 2x plus 7 is greater than or equal to 0. So 2x is greater than or equal to minus 7. So x is greater than or equal to minus 7 over 2. Then you draw a number line, you draw the two lines. Here I did a circle because it's only less than. There is no equal sign here. Here I did a shaded circle because it is greater than or equal to minus 7 over 2. This is less than or equal to 1 over 3. This is greater than or equal to minus 7 over 2. So the common region is that. And you just write the common region. So you can clearly see x has to be less than 1 over 3, but greater than or equal to minus 7 over 2. So that's your final answer. Okay. So I hope it's clear. So these are the inequality questions you're going to get in the exam. Mainly the quadratic inequality, because these are just GCSC inequalities but the quadratic inequalities is your main section so be prepared practice loads of questions sketch those graphs show the region clearly use a line like let y equals to the graph because the examiner will like that because you're actually using mathematical skills to do it rather than just sh 
sketching it direct do the let y equals to business so it looks better okay then so i'll leave it there